because I speak out about human rights violations, right? Like, I'm not in favor of stoning women. Only whores, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only whores. Oh. Only the whores, okay? Only the whores. Um, I'm not in favor of throwing gays off of buildings, right? I'm not a fan okay. of all these, you know, free Palestine whack jobs running around the streets okay. of Miami that are calling for the eradication of Israel and Jews. I'm just not down with that, okay. right? But I don't hate Muslims. The enemy of humanity, the one who rejects truth and reality, is an enemy of God who worships their own selfish gains and desires. They lean more towards their animalistic self rather than their higher self, a self that's angelic, a self that's in touch with the intuition that opens the mind to the possibility of all realities. The possibility or the reality of ghayb, the unseen, the metaphysical, the truth of God, the divine books, revelation, the angels, the day of accountability, the day of judgment, which they run away from. Why? Because they like to to make themselves seem as if they are the custodians or representatives of justice, of what's right against all tyranny and injustices. Hence why they're advocating things such as Islam opposes women's rights, human rights, etc, etc. If it goes down to the details, they will not be able to prove all, any of this objectively. They will fail miserably. Hence why even uh, many dies who are not very um, competent in terms of Islamic knowledge, even they or even non-Muslims make great arguments against such people. The reality is what Islam is all about is to fulfill your divine purpose. This is the greatest truth that everyone accepts. What is Islam? Islam is to accept every true information, to reject all falsehood. Islam is to accept that there's one deity, one Lord, one God that's worthy of worship, that's worthy of absolute obedience, absolute submission, absolute love, materialism, wealth, economy, yourself, your ego, your desires, those who you love, those who come, those who go, kings, lords, systems, monarchs, everything is perishing, everything is limited, none of them are deities. The only deity worthy of worship is Allah. Yesterday the deities were idols, today they are men. Today they are kings, today they are celebrities, today they are systems, today they are ideologies. This is the reality of things. Islam ends all of this. This is what Islam entails. It's to love, worship, know your creator, obey his system, obey his governance, because his legislation, his law, his, his um, system is the best way. Why is it the best way? The reason why it's the best way is humans always in dispute. Humans always in khilaf. Human is always in disagreement. God knows the intricate details of what's right and what's wrong. And he establishes the law of halal, haram, what's legal, what's binding, what's forbidden, what's good, what's bad, what's beneficial, what's harmful. So every sane human being needs to say, God does exist. We can make videos about this later on. God does exist. God is the highest level of truth, the highest level of reality. That's an objective reality. That's an objective truth that there's no doubt about. So since that is the case, since he exists, we need to reach him. Because in life, if we're here to live, the, the purpose of life is to fulfill the potential. And the greatest potential that needs to be fulfilled is obeying, loving, and being close to the creator. Not the created, not the limited, not the weak, not the perishing the everlasting, the eternal, the most merciful, the most just, the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the all-hearing, the all-knowing. This is the greatest beauty of life. This is the best thing to do. This is the greatest thing to do. This is the right thing to do, as we always say. So human, need, human being needs to fulfill this potential. How to do that? How to do that? The way to do this is by looking at the revelations or the claims that uh, prophets or people spoke to God directly. We have to assess these claims and we can break this down as well, how easy it is, how difficult it is. We'll get into that later on. But we need to see these claims. People are claiming to speak to God and to get revelation from Him. Let's assess the validity of their claims. 
a sincere, true truth seeker who knows that in life everything is perishing and that God is the ultimate, the highest reality, needs to worship God, needs to reach God. And you cannot simply reach God without the messages, without the prophets, without the books, without the divine revelations. So let's assess these books. Let's see which one's valid, which one's invalid. After assessing that and examining all these arguments and claims back and forth, we make the decision to follow God. And the way of God is the, or the way of God, the religion of God is the religion that's in line with the innate disposition, the natural disposition of man, which is in line with the mind and the heart, both of them together. You cannot separate these. Because the human is what? The human is the rational animal, but it's the animal of the heart, the intuition, the feeling, the compassion. These are both necessary. These are both essential. So these people that talk about Islam in a negative light, in reality, if we're going to go to the essence of it, they are no one to make these claims. They are not the custodians of truth. They haven't given up anything worthy for the sake of right. They haven't even found their Lord. They are away from the Lord, the creator, the one who created them, the one who bestowed upon them life, mercy, existence, the greatest blessing of existence. Existence, as we can all agree upon, is the greatest blessing and bounty for them. They exist, right? They are alive. How is this the case? Since you are contingent beings who did not need to exist, who will not exist at one point, who could have existed in a different way. If that is the case, since you didn't need to exist, but you do exist, then what is the cause of this? The cause of this is the necessary being, the creator. That's the essence of this matter. So since he's the one who bestowed upon us all this life, all this pleasure, all this existence, this reality, you need to seek him, his pleasure, his proximity, his closeness, and obey him and worship him alone. Not worship yourself, not worship man, not worship other systems and ideologies. This is the basic thing Muslims and non-Muslims alike need to remember. That God is the ultimate aim and purpose of life. Because God is the ultimate. He's the most, he's the ultimate reality. He's the highest level of reality, he's the ultimate truth. So, anything they say, we need to see this matter first. Yes, on the side, we can deal with these matters. Does women oppress women? Uh, does Islam oppress women? Does Islam oppress people? The answer to this is, in simple terms, no, it clearly doesn't. But if we're going to put that aside, have you found God? Have you found a system? Or are you worshipping yourself? Have you made yourself kings, lords and deities alongside God and fell into shirk and kufr, which is disbelief and associating partners with God? Disbelief is to cover the truth, to reject all realities, and the ultimate reality is the existence of God the Creator. Remember this.